Alrighty guys, what is going on everybody? My name is Blitzwinger and of course welcome back to another episode of the Toy Box Mode for Disney Infinity. Now of course to celebrate the fact that we began the Lone Ranger playset today, uh, I uh, went ahead and actually decided that, you know what? I'm actually gonna go ahead and play as the Lone Ranger today on today's episode of the, of course, Toy Box Mode here. So it looks like uh, I got one of these soldiers from Pirates of the Caribbean trying to attack me. And I'm being very, very unsuccessful at dealing with them. Or with him, I should say. It's kind of difficult to fight him because he always blocks. And the problem is that I only have the tackle attack to to do anything. Well, that is, of course, unless if I actually call some weapon in. Because if I call in another weapon, then this guy would be completely screwed. Uh, but for now, uh, let's head this way and uh, take on some more of these adventures. Shall we see? Uh, we'll take a look at maybe there's an exclusive adventure for uh, the Lone Ranger. I just got blown into smithereens. And uh, let's see what we got, shall we? Lone Ranger's Justice Run. Pursue the Cavendish Gang through the canyons, deserts, and ghost towns of Old West and defeat them before they can escape. Enemies on horseback are worth more points than enemies on foot. That sounds kind of fun. Sounds like a hunt. Let's do it up. Time for another toy box challenge. So here we go. Now, of course, guys, don't forget to check out uh, my custom toy box coverage stuff. I'm uh, going to be covering the um, the very cool kind of Mario-esque level very soon. So that video should be going up either tomorrow uh, or uh, the day after that, so check that out. And of course, I'm also going to be doing a video for um, the Columbia, which I remembered finally the name of it, which is the, uh, of course, uh, goodness gracious, what's the word I'm looking for? Take out the uh, Bioshock-inspired toy. Out. Toy box, there we go. Finally, I could actually remember what I wanted to say. Alrighty, so take out as many enemies as possible before the time runs out. So if we get 20 points, we'll get a bronze medal. If we get up to 65 points, we'll get a silver. And of course, if we get to the mighty 100 point mark, we will then be rewarded with a gold medal. Alrighty, so here we go. Whoa, look at that. I was given, isn't that a Buzz Lightyear's blaster or something? I don't know what it is, but I do know that it's a freaking awesome laser blaster. So I do know that. All right, so it's 10 points to get the horseback, fellas, which is pretty good, to be honest. That's really good, actually. So there we go. I took those suckers out. Now I'm going to hop along, and uh, and it looks like there's a couple of fellas up here. I was just uh, wondering if there are more respawns, or should I just always keep riding forwards? I guess I should just ride forwards. Forward and beyond. Where did they expect me to go? God, just ride, 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 ride. We're not doing well right now. Because we're at only 20 points, and uh, we need a lot more to get to 100. Alright, so there we go. We got the first medal. Come on, blast him, Lone Ranger. Might as well collect some of these sparks as well. Maybe we'll level up in the process, right? Ooh, what was that? Is that a toy pack? Oh no, that's a spark pack. Nice! That is really good, because of course, it's basically like free experience, which is... Whoa! Okay, whew, that was dangerous. I don't know how I did that. I'm surprised that it didn't fall off, that's all. Okay, so we got a long ways to go until we get to uh, the 30 point mark. Even though it seems like, oh, you got so much time, you're so safe. Nope, there's still a lot more to do. Alright, so, just keep on riding quickly. Okay, I'm gonna take down this fella and this fella as well. Alright, keep on going. It would be nice to get some guys on horseback at this point. Considering we haven't really got to deal with those very much. Whoa, look at all this treasure. Can't I just take that instead of working so hard for all this? All right, so here we go. I guess there's no glory uh, without hard work. What the? I just heard a horse. Okay, just don't want to miss that out because, of course, I mean, that's 10 points, which is substantial. Whoa, okay, so we got a fella right here and then another one right behind him. Come on, keep on going. Right around the, uh, ooh, 52 points. I didn't realize that that was a horseback, dude. Here's another horseback fella. Dag him down. All right, so, there we go. We got, what, 50? Why didn't I get 10 points for this guy? Oh, is he still alive? Is that what it is? Is that him? Oh, no. God, I'm imagining things now, which is really bad. Horseback dude, two of them. That's 70 points right there. I mean, 20 points, but it'll get us up to 70. Yes, okay, that's good. 76. Love that. 78. Gotta go lap around again. 
Just gotta hurry up now. Stay focused, stay alive, and just move as quickly as possible, really. That's all there's to it. Come on. Come on. Shoot him. Go. Go, 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 go. Gotta go fast. I gotta be Sonic X. Gotta go fast. I've gotta go fast. That's a plant. Stop shooting plants, Blitzwinger. Okay. So, come on. I really want the gold medal. Okay. So, this got us to 86. Go, 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 go. So, we need, what, 14 more points? Right? Which is about 7 kills. Or 7 victories, I guess. It is kills, tech. Well, it's not. It's toy kills. So, it's not like kill, kill. Here we go. But you should still take care of your toys. All right. Oh, God. How did I miss this guy? There we go. Okay, come on. Come on. Go! Go, Lone Ranger! We need four more points. Oh, my God. 20 seconds, guys. Will we make it in time? Will this be done? Will this be possibly pulled off? Okay, I'm seeing one target. We got one guy. Yes! We did it! Awesome sauce. I guess you could break your record now, technically speaking. So, there we go. We, we got even more than what we needed to. Damn! I wanted to get one of the 10-pointers so that we could have a nice, strong record. But there we go! 102 points accomplished in the time given to us, which of course rewards us with a gold medal. There's Jack Skellington. Can't wait to get that figure. It's gonna be awesome. I wish they would have made a Nightmare on Elm Street... Um, or Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> Nightmare Before Christmas. That would be a completely different playset. Uh, Nightmare um, Before Christmas playset. How cool would have that... Uh, how cool that would have been? Like would like stop motion things and stuff like that. It would have looked really, really cool. Uh, I wish they would have done that. Uh, another one that I'm hoping, I'm crossing my fingers that at least we get a figure for is Darkwing Duck. Um, that would be really, 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 really cool. Save your progress I really hope they could do that. How cool would that be? Let me know in the comment section below which would you like to see, which uh, uh, particular place that you'd like for them to do that they haven't done yet. Alrighty, so let's see. We got Dome Defense here, so that sounds kind of cool. Help! Stop the Disney Infinity enemies from smashing through the snow globes and taking the townspeople inside. Use your packs and tools to keep them safe. Okay, that sounds kind of cool. Um, Gladiator Arena, though. You can use all their packs and tools to survive. Okay, let's try that. Let's try that. We're going to try a wave thing. We got to survive uh, hordes of waves of enemies within a gladiator arena, and if we're successful, we will hopefully be rewarded with another precious gold medal, which will be nice addition to our collection already. Because at this point, I think we've got three or four of those, so as we continue to gather more and more, uh, that'll be really cool. By the way, guys, if you haven't checked out the Lone Ranger place, I definitely do. It's super duper fun, so uh, if you have some time, definitely check it out. Uh, cheap plug there, but again, it is really, really cool looking, so I definitely recommend to check it out. Yay, cardboard fans! Just what I wanted. Fantastic. Not really, but still. Okay. This arena is far smaller than it seemed in the picture. I'll give it that. Okay, here we go. So, three enemy waves survived. We get gold. Two enemy oh, yeah. waves survived. We get silver. And one enemy wave will reward us with bronze. So, of course, here, uh, as soon as you die, I assume that's when you lose. So, you want to be very, very careful about that stuff. What the heck? How am I supposed to fight this thing? Which packs? It says you can use your packs. So, can't I just... Oh, packs probably here. Yeah, okay, I get it. I get it now. So, this is still all one wave. I got Fire Bomb, Zero Point Energy, the Elastic Hand. The Star Commander Blaster would actually be pretty handy. And uh, the Blunderbuss, so that's what I'm going to use. So, here we go. We got the Blaster, the Laser. The Pirate's going to try to get close, but he's just going to bite the dust. Give me some sparks here. Thanks, bro. Alright, here comes the enemies. So this is still wave one, I assume. Which is pretty simplistic, to be quite honest. Oh, whoa, okay. Gotta be careful with the long-range attackers. That's the most uh, dangerous guys. This is from Toy Story, isn't it? From uh, General... Not Zod. Oh, Zed, I think? What was his name? Was it Zed? I don't remember his name for some odd reason now. Take down these robots. Get some extra sparks in the process. Why not? All right, here come the enemies again. Wow, these are really, really strong waves. I mean, long waves, I should say. Because this is still, I assume, wave one, right? Because we haven't even got the bronze uh, medal yet, so... I'm assuming all this is still part of wave one. 
It's not too difficult so far, because we haven't really uh, had to deal with like long-range attackers, or at least not a lot of them, uh, yet. So that's been really, really nice, and that kind of helps, of course. Alright, I don't like getting pinned down, and these guys are doing a good job of doing so. Okay, be careful. Be careful! There we go! Okay, so that's wave one. Bronze medal has been unlocked, and uh, we did that pretty well. But again, I'm not going to get cocky, because I do feel like... Uh, there's going to be a element now that is going to increase the difficulty of the game for some odd reason. As you can see, we're starting to deal with more robots, which means, of course, more firepower necessary to take them down than previously. Uh, I'm wondering if the spawn point is going to remain the same on that side, or is it going to start changing it up on me to make it a little bit more difficult so I can't predict. Uh, yeah, you see, it's going to change it up on me. So I can't predict where the enemy is coming from all the time, which, again, also adds an element of challenge because... I could get hit with a wave from behind, or from the front, or from the back, and uh, it uh, changes my way of attack. So what I'm going to try to do is just kind of try to stay in front of the ship, so that uh, I'm always head-on with the enemy, and they're not, like, getting the drop on me like they did previously, the very first part of this wave. But so far, so good. The blaster has been really, really handy in this process, so that's fantastic. Alright, come on, bring it on! Where's the ship? Has it quit? They were like, oh, we can't even supply enemies this quickly! Where the heck is the ship? Oh, I hear you! Whoa! Okay, that was quickly. They just came in and dropped them off. Alright, I'm getting shot by arrows or plungers, it looks like. It's pretty funny. Okay, there we go. Took down that fella. The ship is back in. And try to stay ahead of it. It's gonna drop off on this side, isn't it? Oh, God. These terrorist robots, they scare me. The ones that are, like, running at you. Trying to give you a hug or something? This guy with the combo. Trying to hit a combo on me? Not gonna happen, fool! Why have I not leveled up yet, by the way? Got so many sparks, you'd think we'd level up by now. Oh god, careful. Careful. Come on, spawn the enemies. Da -da 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 -da. We got four long range attackers, which of course means moving, moving, moving. Most important thing right now is movement. I don't think I've been hit so far, which is pretty impressive. I hope I didn't just jinx myself. I wonder if there would be an achievement for something like that. That would be a cool achievement. Then again, I doubt they put something like that in a kid's game. They might do that to add difficulty, but I don't know. I don't see that happening. Okay, get away from me! <laughs> this guy is just constantly barraging on me. There we go. So you see, that's the danger of uh, letting him in close and then also having to do with a long-range attacker. So you're seeing how the difficulty is definitely starting to uh, increase slowly. Careful! There we go. Okay. Took care of all those suckers. What you got, ship? What you got, ship? You got nothing. You got not, 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 not nothing on me, ship. Got, got, got nothing on me, ship. Alright, take down this. Oh, God, I've been hit. Which, of course, not only does that slow you down, but it allows the other enemies to get up close enough to where they could do damage. So, it's a bit of a problem. Uh, but of course, don't worry, even if you do ha get hit, it's not a permanent uh, uh, damage. You do, uh, as you saw right there, for example, my life bar, uh, over a little while, if you're not getting hit for a little while, uh, for a few seconds or so, then you start recovering your health, which is nice. God. Okay, so it looks like some of these droids are long-range, and then some of them are close-range attackers. So I gotta watch out for that, and expect kind of both of those. So I think that this is going to be the last part of this uh, second wave here. Something tells me that. Might be incorrect about that, but something tells me I am correct. I guess we'll find out together. In just a split moment. There we go. Alright. There's more, I guess. Goodness gracious, these waves definitely are uh, tremendously compact with uh, gameplay. Oh god, no, not that guy. That's not who I wanted to see. Oh my god, okay, you see that right away? How difficult this became? Suddenly? Wow, okay, I'm getting blasted now. God, I do not want to get attacked by these guys. The dynamite dudes are super duper dangerous, uber duper. Now this guy is a bit of a pain in the butt. There we go. Oh my god. Whew, that was actually pretty challenging. We almost lost it. We had lower than health, uh, halfway health, which... Is the lowest we've had in the entire uh, game so far, so that definitely adds a challenge. What the heck? 
these tiny little robots now I have to deal with. They have less health, it seems like, but they are a little bit more troublesome regarding uh, aim. Now you got this guy, too? Not what I needed. There we go. So as you can see, I mean, they start adding stuff uh, to increase difficulty. Which, of course, I mean, why wouldn't they? That's the idea, right? <laughs> they want you to lose so that you try again. And now there's multiple uh, waves of enemies coming in together. Like, there are two at a time instead of just one ship drop. So I gotta try to take them down as quickly as possible so I don't get overwhelmed by the other drop. Okay, bring it on. What you got? What you got, ship? They're gonna spawn right there. Take down the easier fellas. Whoa, what the hell? What the heck was that, dude? Stop! Oh god. Oh my god, I almost died there. Look at our health. Red. It is red. And that's not good, <laughs> obviously. I don't know why I need to explain that part, but still. It's not good at all. It's very, very bad, in fact. Okay. So we got one more fella back there with his long-ranged plunger gun. Okay, somehow we're still alive. Still alive. Staying focused, staying alive. That's the most important thing. Call of Duty taught me lessons. Bam. I can't believe I just quoted Call of Duty. Sorry for that. I apologize. I apologize for scarring you. Oh, no. That is not what I wanted to see. Damn you. Okay, stop hitting me with a skillet. Stop hitting me at all. Okay. God, I gotta first heal. Oh, my God. Yes. Zapped him up. Zap him up, zap him up, zap him up. There we go. Oh my god. Ooh. Okay, this is getting harder. This is getting very difficult. If we pull this off, that's gonna be awesome. I can't believe it. Alright, shoot, shoot, shoot quickly. Long range attackers, take care of those. Jump forward. Now I'm actually kind of being aggressive towards getting closer to them because I don't want to get, like... In a situation where there's a bunch of long-range attackers, and I'm being swamped by close-range attackers. So, I almost want to try to kind of take care of some of them quickly enough to where... To where this is not happening! What the heck? Okay, now the camera doesn't want to work with me. Please, camera, at least you don't go out on me. I beg you. Okay. I got one of those sword fighters. Yes, okay. Thank God for that. Get up, get up. You see, that's what I mean. I do not want to be in a situation like this, where I'm being attacked closely, and at the same time I'm being fired at from long range. That adds another depth of difficulty, of course, to be dealing with. Come on, yes! Oh my God, okay, this is good, this is good, this is good. We got this, we got this. And again, the more toy pack items you've got is... The, the easier, obviously, this is gonna get, so just keep that in mind, okay? Just stay away from that big dude, because he can do a lot of harm quickly. Come on! What the heck? How much damage did you just take, dude? That guy... Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the heck is wrong with me? There we go. Okay, finally, I took that guy down. Whoa! Okay, this is getting crazy! No. Nope. This is the problem now. Because now I'm getting to the point where there are enemies that could, within two or three hits, really, really cause a lot of problem. Come on. Run, Lone Ranger, run. What the heck is that? What the heck is that thing? This guy's like firing some sort of energy balls at me all over the place. That's probably an instant kill. Whoa! I just killed that guy? Okay, why am I having so much trouble with this stupid enemy? The Incredibles robot is definitely very hard because he's got that block thing. Which is just annoying. I mean, look at that. You see? Come on. Come on! Take him down. Thank God. Okay, here we go. I don't even know what that red thing was. We've never seen that in, like, The Incredibles or anything like that, so... 
That was pretty intense. Why are they shrinking the enemies to a certain extent? Okay, took care of that guy and one more fish fella. Okay, here we go. We got this. We got this. Oh my god. <laughs> my hands are so sweaty. I'm so nervous right now. You don't even get this. Oh my god, I am terrified. Okay. Thank god for the laser blaster, man. Thank god that it's so powerful that it just takes enemies down pretty quickly. Because if I was using the regular uh, pistol, the little six shot... Oh god, that thing does so little damage compared to this. So, thank god for, for that. I'll give it that. What the heck? Oh, I thought for a second that thing was following me for a moment. Yes! We took it down, like a boss! The bigger they are, the harder they fall. That held true this time. Whoa! The Rhino Guard really does charge ahead like a Rhino, bro! Which, I guess that would make sense. Why the heck am I so surprised by that? It's just that he was moving so aggressively, I didn't expect it. That's all. Oh god! Dynamite could take me down very quickly. Avoid that. Avoid that like the plague. Okay, here we go. So here's our next attackers here. Now we got Macus to deal with, who can who can do that st stupid rolling attack that is like a giant pain in the butt to deal with. Oh god. Now there's another wave of enemies coming in? Oh my god. No! 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 What the hell? Oh my god! No way! Oh, no freaking way! Oh my god, I tried. That would definitely be easier on multiplayer. And maybe I sh what I should have done was at some point actually switch my weapon. Oh, goodness gracious. That was intense. That was a pretty gosh darn intense episode of the Toy Box mode. So there you have it, guys. We got silver. Not too shabby. I mean, definitely was going for the gold, as you saw. I was trying my best. And I think we were pretty close towards getting it. But um, again, as you can see, uh, it definitely starts to grow on you. And uh, it does require quite, uh, quite a bit of skill. The only issue that I have sometimes that is a little bit unfair in the gameplay is that the camera sometimes changes angles to where it's really difficult to, uh, uh, to understand where you are. So that's the only issue I would say that uh, is a little bit unfair. But that being said, still super duper fun. Again, it's kind of like horde mode for like Gears of War or something like that. So that's pretty cool as well. That being said, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like rating, share the video with your family and friends and favorite the video as well. Thank you so much for doing so. It really does help me out a ton, guys. I really, really do appreciate. Appreciate? What's appreciate? I don't know. Appreciate. That's what I wanted to say. Each and every single one of you who does so. Thank you so much. I really, 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 really do appreciate it. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you later. Alligators.